eh, gracias a su vuestra visita imperial Cusco. Welcome to Cusco, amigo. Cusco was once the capital of the sprawling Inca Empire and said to be the navel of the world. Visitors today will discover an intriguing tapestry of Inca and colonial history where the cultures of the past retain a formidable influence on the present. Hi, I'm Anthony for HostelWorld.com and this is Cusco. Orientation around the city is very easy thanks to the 9th Inca Pacacute who commanded Cusco to resemble a puma in both shape and function. The head is formed by the ancient fort of Saxe Woman, which served as a seat of power. The heart represented by Plaza de Armas where the social life of the nobles thrived, and the reproductive organs formed by the Coracancha, the sacred place of origin. Around the city, you'll find a plethora of churches and museums that whisper tales of Cusco's past. The real treasures of Cusco are buried in the same reasons that she is referred to as the archaeological capital of South America, and you only need to venture a few kilometres from the main square to discover why. Prepare to be mesmerised by enormous limestone boulders and bewildered by precise mortar's construction. The knowledge of a good guide will bring these ruins to life, shedding light on the ancient sacrificial beds buried deep within sacred Inca chambers. Travel a little further and your eyes will be delighted by the wealth and beauty of the sacred valley's fertile plains. Panoramas from the Inca citadel of Pisac will take your breath away, while the steep fortified terracing at Alien Taitambo will make you realise why it was the only site to resist an attack from the conquistadors. Cusco's culinary delights cater for all tastes and budgets. The more affordable street meat and pollerias can be found in just about every corner. Whilst restaurants exhibiting amazing decor and menus are also available for the traveller with more refined tastes. Perhaps none more so than the Fallen Angel, where goldfish filled bathtubs artistically serve as dining tables. Also when in Cusco, it is mandatory to try the traditional dish of koi, with few better places to do so than sumac miski. Still the beating heart of Cusco, most bars and clubs can be found around the Plaza de Armas, with venues to cater for an easy afternoon drink or a late night fiesta. The traditional Peruvian cocktail is a Pisco Sour, and if you're looking to enjoy one in relaxing surroundings, then a great place to visit is the Real McCoy's. Otherwise popular venues for tourists to dance at night away include Mama Africa's and Mythology. In the latter venue, you can find free salsa lessons every night of the week. For those with the time and dedication, I sincerely recommend volunteering at Our Dear Yanapai. It is a non-profit organisation that endeavours to progress the lives of Peruvian children by providing them with the opportunities that the more fortunate of us often take for granted. Before leaving Cusco, there is definitely one last place you should visit, but it would need its own city guide to do it justice.